Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Aviator Updates. I'm Rakesh Nege and I'm an aviation expert. Today I'm going to discuss about FMAs or flight mode annunciators in Airbus 320. So let's start. So friends, you must be knowing that flight mode annunciators, we should monitor them. It is in the golden rules of Airbus. So the golden rule which is applicable for FMAs says that monitor the FMA at all times. So there are different modes which are engaged and they are shown in terms of FMAs on the PFD. So what is PFD basically? PFD is primary flight display. It is a part of the IFIS system that is electronic flight instrument system. The electronic flight instrument system has a PFD and an ND. PFD is primary flight display and ND is navigation display. So we will not focus more on details of PFD and ND. We will focus more on the flight mode annunciators which are shown on the PFD. So where is it shown friends? We should know that on the PFD in the top part of the PFD modes are shown. Whatever modes are engaged or arm are shown on the top part of the PFD. So let me show you friends. Suppose this is PFD. So on the PFD on its top part there are five columns. First column is for showing the auto thrust modes. Auto thrust modes. Second column is for showing the vertical modes. Vertical modes of autopilot, AP, or flight director. Okay. And third column is for showing the lateral modes lateral modes of what of autopilot or flight director okay friends this is the third column fourth column of pfd it shows the approach capabilities and fifth column of pfd shows the engagement status engagement status of autopilot, flight director and auto thrust. Okay, so the five columns of PFD they show these information. The first column is for auto thrust mode, second column is for showing the vertical modes of autopilot or flight director. Third column is for showing the lateral modes of autopilot flight director. Fourth column is for showing the approach capabilities. And fifth column is for showing the engagement status of autopilot flight director and auto thrust. That is the flight guidance system. These three. So this is the PMD. I am just showing only the top part. So let me show you uh, an example. On PFD, suppose in the fifth column, the first column shows the auto thrust modes. So here, suppose speed mode. Okay, so this is how it will appear. So this, it appears like this. In the second column, we have vertical modes. So vertical modes, let me take it as alt star, suppose. Alt star. Okay. So in this session, I'm not discussing what are these uh, modes about. I'll discuss this. In another session, as of now, this session I'm just explaining about the columns. What are columns show which FMAs or modes? So, Alt star or third column shows the lateral mode. So, suppose the lateral mode is heading. Okay. And fourth column shows approach capabilities. Suppose CAT 3 dual. And the DH or MDA. And the fifth column shows autopilot, flight director, and auto thrust. Okay, so this is how it appears. I'll show you in close view. 
So this first column is showing what is speed here. Speed is showing the uh, auto thrust mode. It can be uh, other mode of auto thrust also like thrust MCT, thrust climb or whatever. Next second column is showing you the vertical modes like all star and glide slope. These are the vertical modes and the third column shows you the lateral modes like heading and localizer. These are the lateral modes. Fourth column shows you the approach capabilities like the cat 3 dual or cat 3 single. Even the minimums like DH or MD is also shown in this. Fifth column shows you the engagement status of autopilot priority and autothrust. So in this example autopilot 1 is on, both FDs are on and autothrust is active. So let's discuss some general things about these columns. The first three columns as you can see from the left 1, 2 and 3. The first line will show the modes which are active. As you can see the alt star heading the first line is in green. Okay, So green means the active or the engaged modes. Next. Second line, as you can see, second line shows the modes which are armed. Okay, it will be in blue or it can be in magenta also. Magenta, what does it indicate, friends? Uh, magenta indicates those modes which are armed and which are because of certain constraints. Okay, next fourth column, it shows you the approach capabilities and it will be written in white. Okay. So it will be like CAT3 dual or CAT3 single. If both autopilots are available, it will be CAT3 dual. And if one autopilot is available during approach, then it will be CAT3 single here. Next is DH, that is the minimums. DH or MDA, whatever would have been entered in the MCDU page. So we know well friends, we used to enter the DH or MDA in the MCDU performance approach page. Okay, so whatever figure is entered that, that same one will be appearing here in the approach phase in the approach capabilities column last column in this the data appears in white in the actual display the last column data is shown in white color so autopilot whatever is on it will be shown like it autopilot one so in this example autopilot one is on so i have written ap1 next fd status also is shown here like one fd2 that means both fds are selected next third is auto thrust auto thrust it will appear in white when it is active. Note that friends, auto thrust can also appear in blue if it is in which state? Armed state. So we have two colors which are used in the fifth column for auto thrust that is blue and white. Blue, if this auto thrust mode is shown in blue color, it means it is in the armed status. And if it is in white, it means it is active or has been activated. So friends, this is the PFD and you can see it from the near view, this is the first column, second column, third, fourth and fifth. So here I have shown you what all FMAs can be there. These are just examples like first column speed, second column showing you the vertical modes, third column showing you the lateral modes, fourth column showing you the approach capabilities and fifth column showing you the engagement status of all these three. So one column one, column two, column three, column four and column five. So they have three lines. One thing to note here is there are three lines, one, two, and three lines. Okay. First line shows you the active modes. Second line shows you the arm modes. And the third line of these first three columns, especially second and third column is for showing you some special messages, like messages related to the flight control system will be having the first priority, which will be shown over here. And messages related to the FMGC system will be having the second priority. Okay, friends, those messages, they appear here in the third line. I'll just show an example. Suppose there is a message from the flight control system, man pitch trim only, man pitch, trim only okay so this message it appears in red color and it used to flash for nine seconds so this is a message from the flight control system and it has priority there is also one more message from the flight control system like use man pitch trim use man pitch trim So this message is also of the flight control system and it appears in amber color whenever it appears and it, whenever it appears in amber it just flashes for 9 seconds and then becomes steady. Whenever a new FMA appears friends it is always enclosed within a white box. 
like the suppose this is the new fma which has occurred right now so this mode initially will be boxed in white so there will be a white box enclosing it it means that there is a new mode which has triggered just now and this box disappears after 10 seconds sometimes this white box may be of 15 seconds as well so i'll show you on the closer view so this is all about the five columns of the fmas on the pfd so friends i hope you are clear with all the five columns descriptions we'll talk about the different types of fmas in my next session till then enjoy learning these five columns and revise them and come up in the next session see you soon in the next session thank you